in in the noise complaint, you, you'll see that a lot of some of them say no callback required or mm. no need to call me back. So I'm going to respect the caller's wishes when they say that. Okay. Yeah, we would we do prefer that the caller to to say what if they want to call back or not. We're not. Um, that's how we ran it at Bradley. Um, um, if the if the person requested a call back, we call them back. Well, I'm on the list here, and um, I never received a call back. Okay, I'll look into that. That would be my error if you didn't. But I went through the whole list, and I did see your name, and I thought that there was an N after your name for no callback. Yeah, so and I apologize the, if I did not. Here's the other thing. Um, you know, I don't take calls that are uh, unsolicited or, you know, that I don't know the person. So could is it possible that your phone could be identified as Brainerd Airport? What, when you when you see uh, when I call someone on my caller ID for my phone number, it, it does show up. It says Connecticut Airport Authority. It does not say okay. Brainerd Airport because I, okay. my phone is given me through the CAA. Okay. Um, yeah, I, under, I understand what, where you're coming from with that, Judy. Um, um, one of the things that uh, we used to do at Bradley is um, try to use an office phone when we make callbacks during the day. Yeah. But unfortunately, um, not everyone is available during the day to take the phone call. So sometimes when I used to call at night, um, um, from my house, you know, I, I used to use my, my company cell phone, but I did, I used to block the, the, the number so that, um, because I just can't have my cell phone out there for that. You know what I'm saying? But, well, I understand I, that, yeah. but I don't want to take a call from an unknown source. Right. Um, we'll try to make sure the calls are from the office. Okay. And, uh, even if, if it's not answered, if you could just leave a message, I yeah, always leave a message. Huh? If no one answers, I, I leave a message every okay, time. Okay, good, good, good. Absolutely. Okay. But I, as I say, I've not gotten anything, so. I apologize for that. I thought okay. I saw your name, I saw your complaints, and yeah. um, that would be my error. I apologize. Okay, that's that. fine. Um, I just want to know that it's in place. Yep. Yeah, okay. Any other question on the noise complaints? Okay, hearing none, we'll move on to item three, which is airport <laughs> operations for the last three months. Oh, um, oh yeah, the operations were, um, for July, it was 6,567 uh, flights. August 2022 was 7,493, and September 2022 was 6,093 flights. So it's in the same range as previous? Um, Looking back at, um, yeah, I would say it's uh, July, um, August was definitely um, uh, a busy month. There, there's no doubt about that. That 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 went up in a lot of flights, um, like maybe we had 7,400 flights. That's probably the most that I've ever seen um, in one month when I'm looking across this chart right now. <laughs> August is probably the busiest month that we've had in the last 10 years. From mm -hmm. I, can, if, I don't see any other numbers that show anything lower than that. Um, and then uh, same with September. September, for looking back the last 10 years for the month of September, actually, no, uh, September 2013, we had 6,500 flights. So, uh, but yeah, it's up from last year, that's for sure. It's up, the numbers are up from last year. All three months. Any other questions? I'm yeah, I had, two, I had two questions, if I might. Um, prior, in previous meetings, you've expressed that the percentage of the flights that are generated by the flight schools hovered around 70% during the pandemic years. What, what would you estimate it is now? 
the the I I I would guess it, it's probably about the same, but uh if you want I could try to look into that um and get back to you on that. Um I'd have to see what I could find out on that. But I'm okay. guessing it it, it this, the flight schools are probably the majority of the flights that we're getting at Hartford Brainerd. Okay. Um, Fred, is it possible that I could share something with the group? It's a small video that I have. You'd have to allow me to share it, but I wanted to just show um, John an example of the flight schools coming over Old Weathersfield. And I wanted to ask him how they're counted. Uh, I get, well, if you, before you play the video, I can tell you how the counts are counted. The counts are, uh, aircrafts are counted by the air traffic control uh, tower. They count all the, all the, uh, the counts. They provide the numbers and then they submit it to the federal government. And um, there's, um, there's, they send us a report every month. And then I also, I go to a, a FAA website to get numbers from there because it kind of breaks it down. I think if you, saw, if you saw this video, I think you'd understand my question. Is it, is it possible? I, guess, I, I, I just made you co-host, Cindy, so you should be able to share. Okay. Let's see if this will work. Are you seeing anything? No. Okay. okay. Yeah. So here we go. Watch two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's the premier flight school that you just saw. We and don't so see anything. We don't. Oh, you saw anything. nothing. No. Oh. no, we're not seeing it. All right. Well, I will. Um, I will send it to Fred, but what I, I'm sorry I can't show it to you because it's very dramatic. It is the Premier Flight School on September 4th that did the same circular pattern 11 times in a row. And I was wondering if that, and I believe they're touching down and coming back up every time. And so I was curious as to how that's counted. Is that a takeoff and a landing? Is that 20 in your methodology or you're counting it as a 20 times that they, went around in a circle? I believe so. Uh, I can I can confirm that with the tower, but I believe for every landing, it yeah. would be a landing and then a takeoff following that. Okay. Um, I uh, looked up Premier Flight School. So they've been located at uh, Brainerd for, I think about 20 years. Is that possible? They would have I, had that. I'd long. have to ask. I'm not, I'm not familiar. As, as you know, we just came on to the, I just got right. into the GA system, but I could look that up and find it out. When, okay, when well, I started at Brainerd, I will say that uh, um, Premier, from what I was told, you know, I was only a maintainer at that point. They had not been there very long. And then, you know, um, learn to fly. They just came on, I want to say, probably about three years ago. So I think Premier has been there the longest then. But uh, the interesting thing about this video, and it certainly wouldn't surprise any of the people from Old Weathersfield is that in not a single one of these 11 loops that were conducted on September 4th, did anybody take the recommended flight path? They went directly over Old Weathersfield 11 times within a matter of 10 minutes. And I, will, I have sent this uh, video to Fred's office and then maybe he'll share it afterwards, but I think That'd it's important. No, here. Oh, there it is. You Ready? see it now? I, 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 I just put it up, so I'll, I'll start it now. Okay, thank you. That was it. That was it. Yes, I can see it. it. This is Claire. Um, I, I borrowed a friend's uh, Zoom lens camera and just had fun taking pictures of these, these flight school planes, just date stamped again and again and again and again. Um, I'm not sure they're touching down, Cindy, because they're on such tight circles. I'm not, it feels like that's awfully fast to take off. And I, I feel like they're maybe just making lazy circles in the sky, getting time in over old Weathersfield. So in that situation, that's only going to count as one because I go up 
I do a bunch of circles around, get some time in, get my twilight hours and go back. That's only going to count as one. I think. If I'm, so, I'm at the airport almost every day. And a lot of your flights that you're talking about, they either do like you discussed a touch and go, or they will land and they will taxi back to the runway. So like you had just said, for them to be making a tight circle like that, going down and up that many times, um, probably wouldn't be feasible. And also, um, you know, on September 4th, I don't know. I don't know what the weather was. I don't know what the winds were. I don't know what the aloft winds were. Um, you, know. you know what time that was on September 4th, Cindy? I do. It was 12.54. All right. Thank you. Let me do some research and uh, see what I can find out if they actually did landing or not on that day. All right. I also sure. have a question about the counts. Um, you said that the uh, air traffic controller is the one that does the counts? Correct. Okay. But there is no air traffic controller late at night. Correct. So those those flights would not be counted. Correct. So our operations after midnight are pretty close to none because actually I was in there for, as you know, we filled in the Ash Lagoon. So I was in there for, we had a 90 minute PPR set up and everything. And then later on, the, the airfield was closed. I did receive calls for medic landings that needed to come in after midnight um that was really the only phone calls that i received as far as you know after midnight operations well i'm just suggesting that the count is is not accurate you know and i do hear planes late at night okay so i don't know how where they're going but they're heading towards brainerd and I can't tell you how many, but um, I do know that um, I'm a light sleeper, so I hear them. And they're right over my house. Bob, is that what time the uh, air traffic controllers stop their ship? Midnight? You yes. Can, you okay. After that, we go into CTAF. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, any other comments on operations? Okay. Um, projects. Um, John, you said there were no projects, but is there anything? Uh, yeah, at, on? at this time, there's no, no scheduled projects happening at the airport. Where's the, what's the status of the uh, MDC work? Is that still moving forward? Um, the, uh, the, the Ash Lagoon? Yeah. Uh, that's all completed. All done. Okay. Are you, are you considering the tree work to be a project that you are conducting or is that outside of your scope? Uh, no, the, the CAA is in charge of that project. And uh, right now that's still, we don't have the final permits on that. So we're, uh, it, I, I, we're not, I don't count as a project on the operational side until we know we're going to actually do it. Thank you. We'll take that as good news. Yes, <laughs> for the moment. Okay. Any other business from anyone? Okay, I don't hear any. I do have one item that I'd like to add. Um, meeting dates for 2023. We need to establish those and get those posted. Um, Right now, if we go on our regular schedule, what we'd be looking at is January 26th, the same time, um, April 27th, July 27th, and October 26th. Any issues with any of those dates that anyone's aware of um, at this time? And uh, if not, we will um, go ahead and post those. And if we need to make any changes down the road, we can obviously do that, but at least it, that way we've got it on everyone's calendars and we can get those scheduled. As long as there's no snowstorms. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you think we could continue to meet by Zoom? It's so much more convenient, I think, mm -hmm. for everybody, and it wouldn't matter if it were, there was a snowstorm. I agree. But, I agree. Yeah, I'm fine with Zoom. We can do that. I like it. Agreed. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm glad these uh, dates were put out there and will be published uh, ahead of time. That's very helpful. Yeah. Okay. Any other last chance? Any other business before we adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Anyone? I motion we adjourn. I motion. Okay, Judy, and I'll take Bob as the second. Second, Bobby. Right. Bobby. Okay. Right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all. Aye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Nice talking to you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you very much. Everybody. Welcome bye -bye. to the group. Thanks. You bet. Bye bye now. <laughs>